This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. A lot of boys and girls have been asking me if they can convert any Arduino based project into a Raspberry Pi Pico based project without making any changes in the code. And some guys even asked about the Arduino libraries if they can use the same Arduino libraries with the Raspberry Pi Pico. To find out this first I made two Arduino based projects. Number one, temperature and humidity monitoring system using Arduino DHD21 and SSD1306 OLED display module. And number two, industrial temperature monitor using Arduino K-type thermocouple mix 6675 amplifier board and SSD1306 OLED display module. So let's go ahead and one by one convert these Arduino based projects into Raspberry Pi Pico based projects. So without any further delay, Let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. If you're just getting started with Raspberry Pi Pico or Raspberry Pi Pico W, then I highly recommend first watch my getting started videos on the Raspberry Pi Pico and then you can resume from here. Because in this video, I'm not explaining how to install the Raspberry Pi Pico board in the Arduino IDE or its technical specifications and pinouts. I have already covered all these things. You can find links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with our first project. This is the circuit diagram of the Arduino and DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor based temperature monitoring system. The VCC and ground wires of the DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor are connected with the Arduino Nano 3.3 volt and ground pins while the data wire of the DHT21 sensor is connected with the digital pin D2 of the Arduino Nano. Similarly, the VCC and ground pins of the I2C supported SSD1306 OLED display module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Arduino Nano while the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino Nano A4 and A5 pins. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. On the left side is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. You will need this power supply if you want to externally power up your Arduino board or otherwise you can use your computer or laptop to power up the Arduino board. As usual, I'm using my Arduino Nano development board. It doesn't matter if you don't have this development board you can do all these connections on a breadboard. But still, if you want to make the same development board for testing your Arduino based projects, then you can download its Gerber files from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. First, you will need to install these libraries. For this, simply copy the library name. Then go to the sketch menu. Then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. As you can see, I have already installed this library. Follow the same exact steps for this other library. As you can see, I have also installed this library. It's just a small code and you can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Arduino DHT21 and I2C supported SSD1306 OLED display module based temperature and humidity monitoring system in action.
Now let's go ahead and convert this Arduino based project into Raspberry Pi Pico based project. This is the circuit diagram of the temperature and humidity monitoring system using Raspberry Pi Pico, DHT21 and SSD1306 or LED display module. Don't get confused if you see different pin numbers. This is because pins layout on both Arduino and Raspberry Pi Pico is different. Anyway, the VCC and ground pins of the I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module and the DHT21 sensor are connected with the 3.3V and ground pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. The data wire of the DHT21 is connected with the GP28 while the SDA and SCL pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the GP4 and GP5 on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I've connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. You can see I'm using the same exact libraries and program. I have only changed the pin numbers as you know Arduino and Raspberry Pi Pico have got different pinouts. Previously I was using digital pin 2 on the Arduino while this time I'm using GPIO pin 28. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and DHT21 based temperature and humidity project in action. If you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365, then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop down button and click on the Sign In. Click on the Register an Account. It's just a two steps process into your email ID or you can also register with Gmail and Facebook. Once you complete the registration, then come back to Ultium Designer, enter your email ID and password, check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button. And your Ultium 365 workspace will activate. Click on manage if you want to change your password, your information and you can also write about your experience and projects. And finally, you can click on the save button. I will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. This is how easily we can convert any Arduino based project into a Raspberry Pi Pico based project without making any changes in the code. Now let's go ahead and start with the next project. This is the circuit diagram of the industrial temperature monitor using Arduino, K-type thermocouple, MAX6675 amplifier board and SSD1306 or LED display module. The red and blue wires of the K-type thermocouple are connected with the plus and minus contacts respectively. The VCC and ground pins of the MAX6675 amplifier board and the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the Arduino Nano 3.3V and ground pins. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the MAX6675 board are connected with the Arduino D6, D5 and D3 pins respectively. The SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino Nano. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. As you can see, I'm using the same library for the SSD1306 OLED display module and I have already explained how to install this library. Now this time round, you will also need to install the MAX6675 library. Thank you. 
Vedas taught or not. For this, simply copy the library name, then go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. As you can see, I have already installed this library. It's just a small code and you can download this from our website electronicclinic.com. I will add a link in the description. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this industrial temperature monitoring system in action. Now let's go ahead and convert this Arduino based industrial temperature monitoring system into Raspberry Pi Pico based industrial temperature monitoring system. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The K-type thermocouple connections with the MAX 6675 amplifier board remains exactly the same. The VCC and ground pins of the MAX 6675 amplifier board and the SD1306 OLED display module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico 3.3V and ground pins. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the MAX 6675 board are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GPIO pins 13, 14 and 15 respectively. While the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the I2C pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. I'm using the same exact libraries, only the pin numbers are changed. On Arduino I was using these pins while on Raspberry Pi Pico I'm using GPIO pins 15, 14 and 13. Rest of the code remains exactly the same. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this Raspberry Pi Pico based industrial temperature monitoring system and action. Using these techniques, you can convert any Arduino based project into a Raspberry Pi Pico based project. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.